software development life cycle. Static testing can start right from the requirements gathering stage. Although it is most effective in the early stages, static testing should be performed at every stage of the SDLC, except maybe the implementation and maintenance phases. Static testing has the most impact if applied at the requirement stage. Defects cost almost nothing to fix, as opposed to waiting until the issues hit the test or production environment. During requirements reviews, check the requirement specification and other documents against a checklist for accuracy, thoroughness, completeness, and standard deviations. At the requirement stage, we make sure that the requirements are properly converted to functional specifications. Make sure to check for completeness, clarity, error messages, user-friendliness of error messages, correctness of flows, and the presence of alternate flows. Even if you only apply static testing at the requirement stage, at a minimum, following this process will help you prevent a majority of errors. Go through the requirement specifications documents statement by statement. Use a checklist to find missing, incomplete, and ambiguous requirements. The design stage is also a critical stage at which static testing can be applied. At this stage, you should develop functional and structural tests. Test design against requirements and prototype. Formalize verification techniques. Evaluate the architecture. At the development stage, developers can conduct code reviews and run static code analysis tools. At the testing stage, you should conduct test cases, peer reviews, test plan reviews, traceability matrix reviews, user guides and online help static reviews, performance test plan reviews. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this lesson.